The deal finding method known as driving for dollars or D for D, where you physically get in your car and you drive up and down the streets looking for vacant and distressed properties, in my opinion, is one of the worst possible ways to find deals. And on this video, I'm gonna prove it to you. Get ready to learn why driving for dollars is a terrible method for finding real estate deals, coming up. <laughs> This video is brought to you by Flipster, the nation's number one real estate software with tools for finding, funding, and flipping houses. Check it out now at getflipster.com. If you're new here to this channel, I'm Jerry Norton with FlippingMastery.com, and this channel is all about ways to help you make money wholesaling and flipping real estate so you can live your dream life. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified when new videos are released. Driving for dollars or D4D is one of the most widely known and taught methods for finding distressed real estate properties. Everywhere I look from small meetup groups to large conferences, even online on YouTube and Facebook, everywhere, I see this method being taught and followed religiously, especially with new and aspiring wholesalers. I've even done some videos teaching how to do it myself, but recently I've come to feel much differently about it. And because I'm not afraid to stand up for what I believe, and I'm not afraid to say it how I see it, even if it goes against the norm, I'm gonna take a stand and tell you that driving for dollars is a terrible method for finding deals, and you should stop doing it immediately. And on this video, I'm gonna show you why and give you a different method that is 50 times more effective. It's not that driving for dollars doesn't work. Plenty of people do it and find deals. It's not that. The real question is, is it the most effective way to find deals? Is it the best use of time? And the answer is unequivocally no. There are only so many hours in the day and if you're a new or aspiring wholesaler, time or lack of time is your biggest obstacle. You may only have a few hours a week to work on your wholesaling business and driving for dollars is the least effective method for the investment of time. I try to look at everything in my business and frankly in my life and base decisions using the good, better, best analysis. Whatever decision you make, you're deciding not to do something else during that same time. The good, better, best analysis is a cost benefit analysis or an opportunity cost analysis. It goes like this. Of all of the options I have for the time allotted to do something, what is good, what is better, and what is best? Just because you could do something that is good doesn't mean you should do it if there is another option that is better. And of all of the choices you can make, the real question is, what is the best? What is gonna give you the highest return on investment of time, energy, and effort? Whatever that is, is what you should choose to do. This good, better, best analysis helps you focus on expanding or leveraging your efforts. It's what separates the amateurs from the pros and I guarantee the pro wholesalers in your market, you know, the wholesalers doing five, 10, even 20 deals a month or more, they are not driving for dollars, even if that's what they're telling you to do. When people come through my mentor and partner program called Fast Track, the entire premise of the training is to teach how to do it like a business. To me, that means there are systems and people in place to do all of the heavy lifting and the business consistently makes money without you being there. That is the ultimate goal of any business. Stop chasing after deals and start learning how to run a business that does deals. There's a huge difference. When you drive for dollars and you spend three hours on Sunday afternoon driving around in your car looking for vacant distressed properties, your leverage is one to one. You only accomplish what you and you alone can do in three hours. But imagine if you had 50 people driving for dollars for you for three hours on Sunday and you offered to pay them $1,000 for every deal that they bring you that you successfully close. Now you still have your three hours on Sunday while gaining 150 hours over 50 people on all of their efforts. That is the power of leverage. Really what I'm talking about here is referral business. Rather than doing the finding yourself, one powerful strategy is to employ an army of deal finders, people who go out and find leads for you. My buddy Jamil does over a thousand wholesale transactions a year, and most of his deals are not his own deals. He's built a massive referral network, and everyone brings him their deals. Now, I do fix and flip deals nationwide, and my main strategy for getting deals is through my deal finder programs. I have hundreds of people out looking for deals for me, and I pay them $10,000 if they find and bring a deal that meets my criteria. Now, if you'd like to be a finder for me, go check out my10kcheck.com to learn more. My point is this. 
Stop misusing or underutilizing your time and start building a deal finding team. Let me share with you some ideas how. I want you to think about people who fit one of two situations. The first is people who come in contact with distressed real estate on a daily basis. Examples are gas, electric, and water meter readers, uh, any of your delivery people such as the mail person, UPS, Amazon, Walmart delivery people, etc. Door-to-door salespeople like pest control or dish network. Uh, service people like landscapers and pool maintenance people, etc. Anyone who during their normal daily activities are already driving up and down the streets in your market on a daily basis. Here's what you say to them. I'm a real estate investor and I'm always looking for another distressed property that I can buy and fix up. If during your day-to-day activities of driving around, you see a vacant or distressed property that has been neglected, take a picture and text me the address. I'll contact the owner and if I buy the property, I'll pay you a fill in the blank, $500 to $1,000 referral fee. It's that simple. I have a buddy who every week he does short Uber rides and then during his ride, he pitches to the Uber driver to be a finder for him and now he has over 25 Uber drivers sending him leads. The second type of finder is someone who comes in contact with financially distressed property owners. The biggest are lawyers who represent probate, bankruptcy, and divorce. Did you know that something like 50% of people divorce? That means if they own real estate, they're going to need to sell it in order to settle the divorce. And in many cases, they are motivated sellers. Attorneys may or may not be able to accept referral fees. It depends on their relationship with their clients. Offer to pay them and then they'll let you know if they can. But I found in a lot of cases, they're willing to refer me to their clients as an added value to help their clients. So even though they don't financially gain, they still gain goodwill by helping their clients who need to sell their real estate. One of my elite mentoring students who now earns a seven figure income flipping houses, built a relationship with a large probate attorney in his city. This probate attorney does 250 probates a year and he sends all of his probate leads to my client. That one referral has now turned into dozens of deals. What about mortgage brokers? Do they have clients who are trying to refinance but can't get qualified? What about credit repair specialists? Who can you think of that comes in contact with financially distressed people that can refer motivated sellers to you? Now, if you've been following my channel for any length of time, I teach how to get real estate agents to refer their distressed property listings to you. This has been a powerful referral source for me and I've now done hundreds of deals that are referrals from real estate agents. Now, I did a video where I break down in detail how to get agents to bring you their best deals before they're even listed for sale. So here's my challenge for you. Rather than spending three hours driving for dollars on Sunday afternoon, which may be a good use of time or at least an okay use of time, and instead choose the best use for that time and talk to 10 people who come in contact with distressed real estate or financially distressed people and get them to agree to be a finder for you. Now, building a team of finders and getting good at referral business is not the only way to find deals that is more effective than you personally driving for dollars. Recently, I did a video where I break down my six step marketing the motivated sellers blueprint, where I show you how to get a list of leads, contact those leads, pre-sell on the phone, get on appointment and close and get contracts. Now compared to driving for dollars, my marketing the motivated seller process is easily 50 times more effective and best of all, you can scale it as big as you want. So if you agree with this video, leave a comment and say, Jerry, you are a flipping genius. I agree, driving for dollars is not the best use of my time. Instead, I will leverage people and systems so that I work less and make more. And hey, if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to my channel with hundreds of videos here on the channel and new videos released every week. This is the number one channel on YouTube for all things wholesaling and flipping. And don't forget, it's not about the money, it's about having the time and freedom to have, be, do, and give everything God has in store for you. That's really what it's all about. And I'll see you on the next video.